usually I'm really good at this and this time I screwed up. I have two cameras that I used on my trip and one of them was set to the wrong time zone and that stinks. And the other is a GoPro. And for some reason, when I copied the files over, it changed the date created. I've never seen that before, but it does happen, apparently. And I want to show you how to fix that. And fortunately, it's super easy. Let's jump into it. I use DaVinci Resolve as my editor, and I like to sort my files according to the date they were created. This is from my DSLR, so we can see that their date created is correct. I recorded these on May 13th, 2021. And then down here, I've got my GoPro. And here I've got a date created of Friday, September 17th. I'm going to link to this software down in the description below, but it is this software called Bulk File Changer. Over here in Resolve, let's give this a right click and open the file location. And if we hit View, we can look at some details here. But most of all, I don't care about the date, don't really depend on that but here's the date created and the media created. So let's focus on the first problem right now, and that's my screw up. I didn't change my camera to the right time zone before my trip. So over here, I've got my DSLR, and I'm gonna click and drag these into the window for my bulk file changer. The next step is I'm going to highlight all seven of these files and press F6. And that's gonna open up this window right here. This is actually really easy. Since I'm only changing the time zone, I simply need to add or subtract a certain number of hours from the current time that the file was created and accessed or whatever. So I'm gonna come over here. I do have the option of changing the date outright or even the time, but since I have all these different files here with different times on them, I need to add six hours because I'm six hours behind is what I meant to say. So right here, I'm gonna to go to the created and the modified, and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say add six hours, add six hours. Now, and this is really important, once you click this do it button, it's done. There's no undo. If you lose track of how many hours you've added or subtracted or something, you're gonna make things even worse for you than they already are. Be careful, be slow, be precise. Just be very careful. Just be super cautious when you're doing this. But then you click the do it. Are you sure you're about to change the content of G JPEG or media files? Do you really want to do this? Yes. And now as we look over here, we can see the date created is 1037 and it used to be 437, etc. for all of these files. Let's clear out these files from the media changer and let's do the GoPros. Now this requires a little bit of knowledge here. We can see over here in my file explorer that I actually have the correct date over here in this far right hand corner, the media created. Now this is a different piece of metadata than file created because the file was created when I copied and pasted my files from my GoPros SD card onto my hard drive, which is super dumb. I've never seen that. I don't know what I did different, but the media created was not affected. So as I've dragged these files over here, I'm gonna select them all and push F6 once again. Only this time, instead of using these fields up here, so make sure you clear things out first, we're going to copy the time from the date encoded. And we're gonna copy that time from date encoded to both created and modified. And just like that, we can see that this file now has a date created and a media created that both match. Now, currently the only way I know to refresh these files in DaVinci Resolve is to remove them from my media pool and go back in and re-add them, which is a pain. But as I add these back into the new media pool in the edit tab, we can see that now the date created is actually correct. We can see that uh, we can see that my DSLR footage and my GoPro footage are intermingled and we can see that they are all in the right order once again. 
Anyway, I hope this helps. This is just a short video, a short behind the scenes of one of the many things I have to go through while I'm making these movies. If you found this useful, hit that like button, really appreciate it. And make sure you stick around on the channel. This is gonna be a neat series, but I will see you on our next adventure. Thanks.